Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to walk you through our second brain notion template which has been heavily inspired by Tiago Forte's book Building a Second Brain. We'll leave the link to this book in the description. We highly recommend this book as it has some wonderful tips on how you can organize your digital information and create a storage space outside of your own mind. If this is helpful, it would help us out a lot if you could subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. So let's dive right in. First, let's go over a brief overview of this template. So basically we have a notes inbox here on the top, which is the way that you can store your notes very quickly on the go. You can just click this add new note button and then it goes directly to your notes inbox if you don't put a folder. So these are all basically uncategorized notes that you can go back to later and categorize in its folders when you have more time. And then we have our folders. So these folders are separated into projects, areas, resources, and archive or done. And we added one more, which is called no category in case that you have a folder that you're not sure where it belongs. And this makes up the para method that Tiago talks about in his book. And basically projects are things where you are doing in a certain time frame and with a certain goal. So for example, we have create a backyard garden, publish a book. And then areas are life areas that you're working on right now or just that you need to focus on, such as exercise, finances, mental health, and personal growth. And then we have resources, which are where you can store information about topics that you are really interested in. So it could be art, it could be space, it could be science, just anything that you're interested in at the moment can go here. And then we have an archive or done. So you can put folders that are no longer active here. Let's say that you're not interested in philosophy anymore. You could just put it into archive and activate it again when you are more interested in it. And next we have the weekly and monthly reviews. So this is where you can review all of your note taking week by week, month by month to make sure that you have the correct folders, you are organizing them into the correct places and to make sure that you have your notes in the right place. So this minimizes the need to organize all the time, but you can kind of batch organize your notes at one time every week, every month as you need. And then we have on the bottom all your notes. So we have various tabs so that you can see all of your notes in different ways, which we'll talk about later. And if we go back to the top, you'll see that we have also a navigation section here, reviews, and all three databases used in this template are stored here so that it doesn't get deleted. So now let's go over how you would go about using this in your day-to-day -day life. So the first thing you'll need to do is to click the add new note button. Whenever you come across a new note, idea, web article, feedback, anything. So we actually added this tag here called type. So you can see various notes that you can take. So there's web article, book, idea, feedback, meeting, podcast, video, and you can add more as you need. So a note can be anything. So let's say we want to add a new note and we want to add notes from this article here from Better Homes and Gardens, 10 Easy Steps to Create Gardens in Your Art for the First Time. And in specific, we want to just save this pick the best garden spot tip here. So if we go back to Notion, we can title this pick the best garden spot. How to pick the best garden spot. And let's say we're in a hurry so we don't have a folders database yet. We're just quickly going to save this URL. You could even connect this to Web Clipper if you'd like through Notion's Chrome extension. And if we go here, we can enter the URL. And the source here is here in case that you want to keep track of where you got your information or who the author was or who it is that you talk with and so on. So for here, this is from Better Homes and Gardens. So we can put article from Better Homes and Gardens. And the type is a web article. And the main thing is that we put the notes inside here. And so if we go to this article, we just want to take notes on this paragraphs. So if we go here, we can just paste it in and later we can just organize this as we need. So now we just click out and we have this article here. 
So now let's say that it's been a while and you have a bunch of notes here. So it's time now to organize them into folders. So we see here that we can just click here to the folders database. And now we can choose to add it into create a backyard garden. So we can click here. And then now we see that create a backyard garden has two notes. So if we go here, we can see our notes. So how to pick the best garden spot article from better homes, web article, and so on. So this is how you would add your notes. And if you think that you need to review it, you can click here and it's going to show up in this need to review tab. And you can also see everything by type. You can see it by archive and what Archive means is that if you have a bunch of notes here and as you go through them, you realize that some aren't as relevant as you thought they were, you can just simply click this archive button and it's going to go into this archive section so that you don't lose it, but you can only see the relevant notes that you need to see here. So next, let's discuss how you can create new folders. So let's say that we have a note here, inspirational meeting with a friend. And it was basically a talk with a friend over coffee that you took notes about later because it was really useful for a topic of mental health in your life. So in that case, we don't have that yet here. So what we can do is go ahead and add a new folder through our life areas here. And you can click plus new and it's going to pull up a life area template and we can call this mental health. And you can add a cover photo, change cover, and we'll go with something relaxing. And now you can click life area template. So now if we have this note, we can go ahead and put it into the folder. So we can click folders database and then place it into mental health. And now we can see mental health has one note. And when we open it, you'll see that the note is right here and you can do the same as the previous notes with the review and so on. So this is how you would add new folders. You can do it in other places as well. If you need to add a new resource, if you need to add a new project and so on. And we also wanted to go over now about the folders. So each folder actually contains a specific template for you so that you can plan projects, areas, and resources separately. So if we click here, you can see them. So we have a project template, we have a life area template, and we have a resources template. And all of these are created in a way that they are default in each of these tabs. So you don't have to worry about actually loading these. So let's say that if we create a new project, we can just click here plus new, and it's going to load the project template below here. And it's going to include project description, important questions, and action checklist, and completion, and archive review. So if we just open these up, you can see that there are various things you can add here that will help with your project planning. And when you're complete or when you're archiving, you can fill this part in as well. So let's actually go over the areas template. So here we made the mental health one. And you can see here that there's the current reflection, such as what is your current status in this life area, some important questions, and an archive review. So here, we created this for you already, but of course, it, you're welcome to create your own questions and things like that. And then in resources, we also have a dedicated template here. So you have your current reflection, important questions, and archive review. So now let's talk about what happens when you want to archive or if a project or something is done, how do you change it? So let's say that we have this create a backyard garden and we've already completed it. Then all you have to do is to put complete here and it's going to move it to your archive and done right here so that you know exactly which projects and which resources and so on. And all of these things are either archived or completed, but it's also easy to activate it again. So let's say that you decide to buy another house and you have to make a backyard garden there. Well, you could just change this back to active. 
And when you do that, it's going to appear back here with all of your notes that you need in order to complete a backyard garden. So in that way, you can always see your current projects, areas, and resources so that everything that you're taking notes for is always relevant. So next, let's go over the weekly and monthly review. So here, if we click open one of these, you can see a dedicated template that we've made for this as well. So there's a weekly review checklist and it consists of checking your notes inbox, which is all the notes without a folders database. So you have to categorize them. And then you want to examine your active folders. So your life areas, your projects, your resources, and determine if these are still relevant to you. And then you can decide if you need to add new folders. Then you can go ahead and scroll through all of your notes and see if you have any new findings here that could be interesting. So this is just a browsing time for you to see if you find any new connections or anything interesting. And then you can reflect. So how did your note taking go this week? What could be better? What went well? Any new findings or connections you found and so on. And then we can show you the monthly one as well. So if you click here and open it, then it's basically similar to the weekly, but with a monthly twist. So you can also reflect on each of your note taking and things like that in the month view as well. And if you need to add a new review, all you need to do is click plus new here and it's going to load that template up. And when you're done, you can just click completed. And next we wanted to show you all notes views. So we have last edited, need to review, by type, created date, archived, and view all. So this is just a good way to see everything. And sometimes it's nice to see everything by different categories and sorts so that you start to notice new patterns or new connections as you browse. So we also invite you to create your own filters and sorts as you need here. And now let's take a look at this left hand sidebar menu. So all of these are included as part of the navigation. So if you're someone who prefers to open each thing as a page, you can do so. So for example, if we open projects, you'll see the projects like this instead of on the page view. And then we have the reviews as well by separate pages. And then we have the three databases for this template here. And they are here so that you don't delete them. And finally, we wanted to talk about our mobile view. So taking notes is often a mobile activity because we're usually on the go and we need to take notes quickly. So with mobile view, you can make this your default when you use it on your phone. And we basically streamline the template into mobile version. So we have our add note button and then this table of contents where you can quickly go from your notes inbox, projects, areas, resources, archives, and all notes really quickly. So let's say that we need to add something quickly into resources. We can just click resources and open our art folder, and then you can just add your notes in here, or you can just add it through add new note. So we think that one of the weaknesses of Notion is the lack of mobile usability. So we are hoping that by doing it like this, you can easily take notes while on the go and still have it connected to the main template whenever you need to actually do some heavy organizing on your desktop. So that was the Notion walkthrough for our second brain template. If you're interested in this, we'll leave the link to it from our store in the description below. If you'd like a free and simpler version of this template, we also have a build with me for a second brain that we'll leave the link to as well. If you have any questions, comments, or anything confusing in this video, feel free to let us know, and we hope to see you in the next one.